I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Oh, yo, 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 you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Bring me in, bring me in, take a seat, because we got to speak. And uh, the rubber's starting to hit the road. You got Kings versus Queens, and um, Battle Rap event is coming out. Well, you got males versus female MCs. And a lot of fans was asking, where were certain MCs when it came to the card? You know, they was asking about the Miss Hustles, the Jazz the Rappers, the Misfits. Some felt like... That there, while there are some very good battles on there, there was some subsidiary talent on there. And, you know, I'm just calling it like I call it so I don't spoil it. I am nothing more than a nigga with a camera, right? So, people have been asking. We want to see the Miss Hustles versus the Tay Rocks. And, um, quite obviously, Tay Rock already has a battle versus Murder Mook on October 31st. So, for him to have jumped on a car like this and then take... One of the greatest of all time two weeks later probably would not have been the smartest move for him but miss hustle is talking and she is talking spicy if you know miss hustle miss hustle is one that does not hold her tongue she will say whatever she want whenever she want however she wants and um it got real uh she took a couple shots at debo i don't know what the situation is i just know you know i know what i know and know what i've seen so she says Debo, suck a dick with the shade. I haven't spoke on your weird ass in a long time, but November, I will tell it all. Contract signed, see you in November, caffeine. I've been chilling, but never forget I can destroy your little empire with a couple screenshots. Leave me alone. I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna, let's just give them more, give, let's just put it all, let's, 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 let's just keep it going. I'm going to keep quiet, though, because a lot of y'all and y'all feelings about to be hurt in November. Blackballing don't work when you that bitch remember that. Ah, man, she, I, she, she, she just keeps on going as far as what's going on. Y'all got other battle bitches hold y'all tongue and get fucked over. Y'all other battle bitches hold y'all tongue and get fucked over, not I. Basically saying I will say what I want when I want however I want, and also said, I'm not very liked because I'm not easily controlled, saying that no entity, no league, or anyone can control Miss Hustle. And I do respect the fact that you control your own entity and you control what you do. Um, sometimes, when that happens, it does take away from opportunities because people or leaves in the same battle rap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't working right now. Um, leagues will look at it like if an MC cannot be controlled, then they can't tell them what to do. You know what I'm saying? It happens with battle rappers. It happens with media. It happens in a lot of different forms. You know what I'm saying? I'm one that I will jump on this camera. And however I feel is how I'm going to say it. Whatever. If it comes out left, it comes out left. I really don't give a fuck because this is my platform. But... You know, that's just me. Everybody's not going to say the things that I'm going to say or whatever the case may be, but it is what it is. So, Hustle is basically saying that November, caffeine. So, it looks like, and I feel like, Hustle's got a situation coming up in November where she could be battling. I don't know who she be, who she would be battling or whatever the case may be, but we all, I want to see Miss Hustle back in the ring. I'm just going to be honest with you. Miss Hustle is one of the ones that when it came to female battle rap, her name is always going to remain at the top, at the top, top spots, you know what I'm saying? She did her work, she put, it, she put in that pain, and she got herself to a point where she can control her career. Now, whatever the issue is with her and Debo, she's not holding back, and she's never been one to hold back, and I don't know because I didn't ask him. I mean, we speak pretty often, I mean, I probably will speak to him after this, but it is what it is. I mean, she said what she said, so I mean... It's, it's, it's a topic that's worth conversing about. Now, while I will say in the past, you know, Debo's name has been mixed, you know, mixed in some mixy stuff as far as with the battle rap, with the female battle rap and representation of female battle rap. But with the situation that's going on right now with caffeine and with 
uh, the Kings versus Queens and their association with URL. I've heard, I'm just saying I've heard that the situation is great. Uh, all of the complaints that are going on as far as with uh, whether it be the females or whoever's on the cards and things like that, it ain't coming from the actual artists that are in it. It's coming from outside people. And the thing is, with women, a lot of the times it gets messier. You know what I'm saying? Like women, they'll, they'll get in their feelings real quick. Women move off of emotion. We all know that, right? Okay, before you put that potion of emotion in the ocean, just know women move off emotion pimping. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, when they see something, they gonna say what they gonna say. Like for instance, the other day I had made a blog, and you know, Robin Rhymes jumped in there and said that battle rappers continue to choke and they still get reward, and uh, league owners and even bloggers pick and choose who they wanna um, give support to, and they continue to push these guys whether they choke or whether they don't. And I and I I, I realize that and I understand that, but for me personally, when it comes to battle rap, I don't give a fuck who it is. I don't care who it is. Don't matter to me. I ain't got no picks. If they choking, we smoking. It don't matter. Like that's just my thing. But even my friends that I, that people that I really consider my friends, like Saga, and I'm gonna get back to the hustle shit in one second. Like Sagas and Danny Myers and folks that I really consider my friend, Bill Collective. Bill Collective is the only battle rapper that's been to the studio to my house. And if they choke, I'm on them. So it doesn't matter. So if I if I'm gonna get on people that I really really rock with. There's nobody else who's safe. Like I don't give a fuck. Like I don't care. I can go. We can go back and forth. We can. We can. We can. We can do that. We can do that. So, uh, but like I said, a lot of the emotions came from females who's not really on the card. Uh, I do feel like a lot of the MCs that are on the card are fire. Forty bars, fire. Uh, official, fire. Couture. She's gonna show a lot of. Couture is gonna show a lot of people how she gets busy. You know what I'm saying? And. E Heart, I've loved E Heart forever. I like what E Heart does for female battle rap. She represents the Bronx. Um, and she's going against a killer in K-Shine. So we're gonna see where that goes. But um, as far as this Miss Hustle thing, I, I gotta see how this one plays out because she's saying the contract sign. She's saying, I'm gonna see y'all on caffeine in November and I'm gonna hurt a lot of niggas' feelings. That's what she said. That's what she's, I saw you. Walking in the rain, you were only hands and I never be the same. D boy, you better get that shit right with Miss Hustle, man. I don't know what your, what your issue is, but nigga, she jumped on the Twitter zone, wilding out the gate on you. I don't, like I said, I don't know. I don't really care to divulge or to get that far into it and figure out who's right or who's wrong. Um, but she did. She said what she said, and she said that uh, I could I could crush your whole little empire with uh, some screenshots. I don't know what them screenshots is about, but um, I definitely appreciate the fact that women are getting opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like um, we hear a lot of the times that oh this person's nice, that person's nice, but we don't get to see them on the largest platform in front of the largest crowds, and this right here could definitely help set the precedence because while royalty was a good event, a decent event, let's just say it was pretty decent. Nobody really like I didn't I didn't get I didn't get anybody really moving a needle, you know what I'm saying? Tori though got bodied. Uh the rum versus official was cool. It wasn't like crazy. There's no shit I watch again. I don't got really much replay value. Two on two don't really got much replay value. Uh the fucking hustle and um, 40 bars. I felt like 40 won that. But now we got we got hustle going into um into November and I can't wait to see. I cannot wait to see who she's got. I've been a fan of Hustle for quite some time. I've seen her I've seen her rise. I've seen her take a little break and she's talking her shit. That's what she's doing. She's definitely talking her shit. She said I cannot be controlled. And that, that that's a good thing. To not be controlled is a beautiful thing. There's a beauty in independence, but when you can't be controlled, you better be nice. You better be nice, because if you ain't nice, it's easier for niggas to just not fuck with you. That's the thing. It's, easy, it's easier for people to just not fuck with you when you uh you 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 control your own shit. Because it's like, well, if you ain't nice and you want X, Y, and Z and you a headache or perceive we don't want to deal with it, motherfucker just easily not deal with you. 
But other than that, salute to the subscribers. That notification came. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. I hope everybody out there is having a productive week. Getting to it, you know what I'm saying? Getting to it, achieving their goals and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Quarantine has been... I want to say this about the, um, the whole quarantine. We've been in quarantine, uh, coronavirus, since March. I hope during this time frame you've gained something, whether you went to the gym, whether you read a book, whether you tried to save some money, whether you painted something, whether you did something. Don't leave this whole seven, eight, nine, ten month situation with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like You definitely want to try to get something done. And the best part about it is, there's still time left. You motherfuckers get on it. I'm gone. Yeah.